Hi everyone, so today we're going to be making a card using a W plus 9 stamp set called Going Places. I'm just stamping that onto some uh, Nina Stella White cardstock using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm then going to colour them in with my Spectrum Noir pencils. Um, I haven't got a clue what they are, <laughs> I'm afraid because I forgot to write them down. Um, and I'm just shading in using the dark, so I use the light first, then the dark, and then I go in with my blending stump and the blending solution by also by Spectrum Noir. And I'm also going to be using the purple, and I think on the other side I use the blue. Now this one I didn't quite like how it turned out, and I kept trying to blend it more, but it like kind of looked a bit pinky in the middle of that purple one. But uh, it will do. And so, yeah. Oh, so uh, sorry. I went for the red for the outside, but an orangey red. And then I'm just colouring the basket using the browns. And then moving on to the bunnies. And I didn't want to make them too dark. Um, I just wanted to use the, like, a greys colour. And I did uh, put a little peachy colour on the cheeks, but unfortunately you can't see it in the video. But in the photos at the end, you'll be able to see it a lot clearer. So I did speed this up because I didn't want to bore you with my colouring. <laughs> so I made some masks out of the uh, stamps for the balloon and the basket. I just stamped some the uh, stamp on the copy of paper and then I'm just using a temporary adhesive tape runner. Because I'm going to be then taking my um, tumble glass... Distress ink, and I was having a few problems with this. Whether it's because I'm the sponges I'm using are not very great at all, I need to get the um, proper blending tools. I think these are the uh, cut and dry foam, and for some reason, I just couldn't get it to blend very well. But in the end, it did look okay because I thought it kind of made it look like it was cloudy. I also tore up some paper here to make the hills, and I'm just kind of blending off of there just to mask that bottom piece so then it looks like I've got a lovely hill there. So you can see how blotchy it really is. I think in the end it didn't look so bad once it had dried. So I'm then taking um evergreen bow and I'm just going to put that mask back there to cover the blue a little bit and then I'm just going to smear the, well smear <laughs> <laughs> blend this onto the bottom of the cardstock to make the hill. So I just took that away in the end and then just started blending that up into the blue, the tumble glass, just to kind of give it a nice variation. So I'm peeling up, well I was going to peel up the mask but then I decided to take my Mr Bowl to see if that would make it any better. And of course I had to be careful because it was only Nina cardstock I was using, I wasn't using watercolour cardstock at all. So I did have to be careful with that, I didn't wear it too much. So now I'm going to peel out the masks. And some of that um, temporary adhesive did get stuck on the balloons a little bit, so I just had to rub away with it with my finger and then it kind of went away. So I'm going to leave that to dry then. So I'm just placing my bunnies here just to see how I want them positioned on the card. And I thought it would be a good idea to take my um, X-Acto knife and cut away at the middle of that balloon. So then I can take the bunny rabbit behind. Which I thought was quite lovely. That's what I like about this stamp set is you can tuck the little bunnies in places. It doesn't just have to be the balloon, you can use it on other stamp sets. So I'm doing a um, Nicole McGuirk, um technique by placing the acrylic block on there. Because I was having trouble with trying to get it to stick. So I'm then going to take a sentiment from that set and I'm going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black and I was just because it's the first time I've stamped this I was stamping it um, onto some scrap paper um, and then I couldn't decide whereabouts I wanted it on the card and um, I kept moving it around <laughs> and I think I finally decided on a position trying to get it straight because I'm not very good at trying to get it straight. So then I was thinking that 
it needed a little bit, a bit more finishing touches to it. So once I glued it to the card, also using the same pen I used to um, glue the bunnies down, I think it's the zig two-way glue pen. Um, I then decided to add a bit of Winkostella to the balloon just to give it a nice shimmer. I did have to be a bit careful because um, because it's like a water based, it was kind of moving the pencil colour around. <laughs> I did have to be a little bit careful there. So you can see that gorgeous shimmer. Love that pen so much. And then I'm going to just take my glossy accents. And I did put quite a thick layer of glossy accents on here. Once the card was complete, I left it all to dry after that glossy accents to dry. I did leave it for a little while, I think it was a good couple of hours, and just went back to it later on. I'm taking my tweezers here just to clean up them edges from the glossy accents. And that's the finished card. So here in the photos you can kind of see that peachy colour onto the bunny rabbit's cheeks and the dimension of the balloon and the shimmer in this photo here. I just want to thank you all for watching and please subscribe and I'm also now on Instagram if you would like to follow me and see more of my crafty work. Thank you very much and bye.